Are you a South African musician trying to notify Samro of your music works but are tired of paperwork? Welcome to my video series where I plan on showing you how to do that on the Samro portal. Cue the intro! What's up, it's your boy Skill from Skill Music SA and welcome to my channel where I give tutorials on how to progress in the South African music industry, particularly aimed to the independent musicians. In this episode, I plan on showing you how to notify Samro efficiently using their Samro portal and notifying them of your music works. I'm gonna head over to my PC to show you exactly how to do that. So to give Samro a notification of works, you have to go straight to the portal. I'm gonna use Google to show you how to get there, so let's just type in Samro. And then when you type in Samro, you see their website and then it says Samro portal. The URL is portal.samro.org.za. I'll leave the link in the bio. And now this is how to log in to the online portal. An important thing is you can no longer use the create new account on the Samro portal. The only way you can do this now is if you give them a call and say, hi Samro, I'm a registered member with Samro and I'd like to access the online portal. They will set it up for you. This usually takes one to five days. That's what they say. Sometimes longer, apparently. So once they've created this account, you will use your username will be your relation number and on the password, that's something that you've set up and the first time you do it, they will give you a password. So I'm gonna click on login to get into the Samro portal. Once you're in the Samro portal, on the to-do side, what we're gonna do in this tutorial is give them the notification of works. You are able to download the forms from their website and do this manually with the paperwork or either you can do this via the online portal. I believe the online portal is a lot more efficient so I tend to register my music this way. So on the to-do side, I'm gonna send registration. And now what I'm gonna do is register something of my own works. So on the bottom, on the four tabs, the first one being view own registrations, second one view all registrations participated in, general registration search is the third, and new notification is the fourth. I'm gonna use the fourth option to notify them of a new work. If you look at the top, there are seven steps that you have to complete to fulfill, to successfully, successfully complete your registration and notification of works. So the first one is the registration type. You cannot change this. So it stays standard as CTV. Click on next. Step two is to add the title. So in the first assignment music, depending on where this music will be used, you decide which assignment music it is. If it's a general commercial song that you'll be releasing on Spotify, iTunes, etc., then you go to no assignment music. The title of the work. This is the title of the work that you will be using on online platforms and the title of the work. So I'll be releasing a song called Cougar later on in, uh, on the 28th of June. So I wanna be using that song as a dummy template. So the title of the work is Cougar. And then the duration. If you look on the, in the middle, it tells you the format the duration is. The first block is for hours, the second block is for minutes, and the third block is for seconds. So the first one is zero zero because if my song is not an hour long the second is the minutes so my song is three minutes seven seconds and the second is the seconds let me just double check that so i don't make an error where you could go where you could go where you could go uh, three minutes 38 seconds three minutes and then 38 seconds a tip is to try keep your music less than three minutes because radio likes songs that are less than three minutes. Not too sure where they came up with that imperial number, but it's best to try keep, if you want the song to be released for radio, it's best to try keep the music less than three minutes. The music consists of, the start tells you don't have to put what is in this field. So I'm just gonna put in music. Nah, let me put music and text because I did write that as well, music and text. The genre, there's popular and serious. Basically serious will be classical music and then popular is general like contemporary music, hip hop, rap, etc. So I'm gonna put popular. Music type, you can select what type of music it is to make your search quicker. Oh, there it is, hip hop. I'm type hip hop. And the performing artist. This is the performing artist that the song mainly belongs to. So if it's on my album, I'll be putting my name on. 
the featured art artists you put on later. So my performing artist name is Skill Music SA. And then you click next. Okay, instrumentation. Step three, it says at the top, it's optional. You don't have to put this. So I'm gonna leave it. But if you feel compelled to put this in, put it in. Next, and then I'll go to step four by clicking next. And now this one is very important. This breaks down the shares and who gets what percentage of the royalties. In the past, people would not fill this in and then Samra would have to automatically assign based on what type of contribution they made. But now they've made it easier for us to tell Samra beforehand what is the share split. Okay, and then the name of pseudonym, name or pseudonym. This is automatically filled. You don't have an option, so that's me the role and codes. So you, this is tell Samuel what role the particular individual had in the song. So for this bracket, this is the initial, this is me, the first person registering the song. So in this song, I'm the composer and the author, the C and the A. But if I was just the producer, the person that made the beat, I'd be just the composer. And if I was the person who just jumped on as the rapper, I would be the author. Where's the author? There, I'll be author. But in this case, I'm the rapper and the producer. So, composer slash author. Performing right. Performing right is how much of the royalties I own in terms of performance rights. If you're not too sure what these all mean, have a look at the very first episode that I released on the music industry. I basically break down the different type of rights slash royalties that you're entitled to. But in my case, for this tutorial, I'm gonna say 100 because I'm the producer and I'm the artist. Mechanical right, same story, 100%. It is very important if you are not 100% owning all the rights that you make an agreement beforehand on who gets what royalties. You can get a split of um, the shares and percentage each person gets on the Samro um, website and I'll leave a link to where you can get the split sheet. It is very important immediately after a session that everyone knows what percentage they're getting or beforehand so no one gets surprises when they go into the studio. And these are fellow right owners. If there are other people that are getting rights for this song, then you fill them in in here. But in my case, there's no one, so I'm gonna leave it open. But let me just do it hypothetically if there was. So let me say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name myself as the producer and then I'm gonna say a sub author because maybe I featured him and then this person will be getting nothing. Well, let's make it make sense. Let's make it 80, 80, and then 20, 20. The percentage must, obviously the percentage must add up to 100. So now I'll finish step four, moving on to step five. I'm gonna click next. Oh wait, you have to confirm. Once you've confirmed, it shows it right at the top. Then for the second person, you click confirm. And there it shows you the PR is the performance right and the MR is the mechanical right. I'm gonna undo that because this that's not the situation for me. And if you make a mistake, you saw on the right hand side, you can delete. So let me make that 100 again, make that 100, and then confirm. Okay, now I'm moving on to step five. Just as a reminder, if you've made a mistake and hit the confirm already, you can undo it by clicking delete. We watch next. Step five is optional. If you are 100% certain that this is the final sound file that you'll be using for the song, you can upload it, but it's optional. I tend to not do this because I listen to the song a lot more after I've registered, just in case I do make minor changes. But in this case, I will not, so I'm gonna click next and move on to step six. Step six. Step six basically is a summary of what you'll be notifying Samro of. Now, if you will be adding another title, you can click in the middle where it says add another title. So if you are registering multiple songs at a time, you would click on this and repeat the step from one all the way up to six. But in this case, to make life simpler and this tutorial not too long, I'm gonna say I am done with adding titles. 
it refreshes and then if i am satisfied with all all the information that i see in front of me right here for the track which i named cougar for this song i would hit save and it's important that you hit save and send <coughs> not just say but since i am not registering this song i'm not going to say this i'm just going to click cancel but when you are sending it hit send and save and then samurai will be notified of your works that concludes the tutorial on how to use the Samro portal to give your notification of works. I would like to highlight that if you do not have access to the internet, you can still get the notification of works form directly from the Samro website, download it, fill it in manually and scan and send it to Samro. And it's very important that you are registered with Samro before you try to tell them of the works that you have. Otherwise, you are actually wasting yours and their time. If you haven't registered yet, please look at the video before this one. And if you need any other further help or perhaps I've left some detail out, please hit so into the comments. And that concludes this tutorial. And until next time, Skilligan the Hooligan signing out.